like the first thing that I would like to know is what is the subsession that you have with that? <laughs> I अब क्या तुमने ऐसे पूछा है ऐसे आगे सो आई बिलीव दैट मैथ इज मोर देन जस्ट अ सब्जेक्ट इट्स अ लाइफ स्किल इट्स अ वे ऑफ थिंकिंग इट्स लाइक अ लैंग्वेज दैट हेल्प्स यू सी द वर्ल्ड मोर क्लियरली इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ सुपर पार इट हेल्प्स यू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व अंडरस्टैंड सिचुएशन अराउंड यू बेटर एंड सो ऑन आई थिंक इन दिस वर्ल्ड एवरी चाइल्ड नीड्स टू बी फ्लूंट एट दिस लैंग्वेज एवरी चाइल्ड नीड्स टू बी very very strong at math and that is my life's mission i want the world children to become better at math to speak this language well and that is why i started give math I have been with QMath from day one. Uh, when we started, for almost for two three years, we were a very small company, about maybe five six or maybe ten people, sitting in a small basement in Malviya Nagar. Then we were called Math Circles. In the name. At that point in time, we just had some uh, content. Pure content. Then all the operations, I mean, in the sense that no teacher had come yet. फर्स्ट टीचर अपने मनन एंड जे के वो द फर्स्ट टीचर मनन सर ने रात में पूरी रात होल नाइट शीट बनाते थे और मॉर्निंग में मुझे देते थे वो वर्कशीट और मैं उसको तैयार रेडी करता था स्लीपिंग बैग हमेशा उनका कार में होता था वो ज़्यादा लेट होता तो वहीं सो जाते थे ऑफिस में ही मॉर्निंग में आके मैं नॉक करता था ऑफिस तो सब कोई उठ जाए उसके बाद से फिर हम लोग काम शुरू करते थे वी वेंट्स टू सोसाइटी टू सोसाइटी एंड देन वहाँ पे थोड़ा एडवर्टाइज करते थे पोस्टर लगाते थे नोटिस बोर्ड पे और जो भी इंटरेस्ट आता था उनको कॉल करते थे और उनके घर जाके एंड देन यूज टू पिच देम क्यू मैथ आई स्टिल रिमेंबर वेन आई सॉ दैट एड ऑन क्यू मैथ वेयर आई सो मनन मनन फोटो विद हिज आई आई टी बैकग्राउंड दैट कॉट माई आई and i thought oh this guy must have designed something better than me and i think i should pick this up and i immediately applied to become a teacher with qmath so the initial two years were very slow in certain ways from a business perspective but very deep in certain other ways um, the the journey was a lot about uh, getting the curriculum right getting the learning right getting the teaching right and that's what yeah that's what those couple of initial years were like we always believe in active learning as a philosophy which is it's it never has to be a broadcast it has always has to be a student led sort of a learning motto where student is on the driving seat you're not trying to explain all at once you're trying to nudge the student to understand a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more through a constant back and forth of questions it's not a student sitting tense lonely and a teacher just constantly telling them here's how to do this and here's how to do that with qmath the idea was that the teacher's role has to be fundamentally different it cannot be one of a teller it has to be one of a queuer the teacher has to queue the teacher has to nudge the child push the child to think give her hints you know give give them um cues and nudges and so on but ultimately the child has to learn on their own to discover new ideas on their own and that's the meaning of the word queue and that's why qmath the idea is learn math not through telling but through queuing i was always clear that i wanted to build qmath as a business because uh, my goal is to impact millions of students across the world and that can only be done via a business at scale i think after our initial success uh, at the scale of about 100 teachers 500 students we started attracting a lot of interest we were having this teacher onboarding mass event in uh, gurgaon in which uh, abhik and shriyansh had come up from sikoa capital and uh, they saw the kind of energy and the response which we are getting from our current teachers as well as the new teachers that we wanted to onboard and that's when the conversation started with sikoa capital sikoa came in with the funding and that time 
we shifted to Bangalore. That was the time in 2016. We started our office in uh, Bangalore and we started getting Bangalore teachers and Chennai, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Pune. We covered all metro cities. So the scale was very fast. Um, you know, we had centers coming in all over the country, across cities in the country and so on. And I remember uh, an all hands meeting I did where I was showing the company the map of our uh, centers across the country and it started with a map of 2015 you know with just a handful of uh, pins and then 2016 suddenly the map becomes you know denser and then 2017 is like completely full you know there are pins all over the map and we also conducted many quizzes uh, math quizzes for kids many activation activities where we used to conduct different events in societies and in their uh, localities I think uh, when we started we were ensuring that at every house at every apartment every society there's a QMAT center which is catering to students of the neighborhood right um, and being primarily offline being primarily physical which means not even in the sense of physical location but also in terms of delivery of curriculum we were delivering workbooks and teachers were doing sheets physical sheets with the students um, and then our ambition grew a lot higher and we wanted to do international markets as well and then we realized that hey we need some kind of a technology platform which didn't exist at that point of time to be able to serve that market with QMAT's philosophy at the core. Uh, I'm actually a very pessimistic person so I used to feel like yeah like now we have a very good business that is going and you are uh, close to profitable now now you want to do online and like and uh, and edtech, it was not so popular at that point of time. And also, nobody knows how learning happens online. So around 2018, two things happened. Apart from the focus on excellence and outcomes, we also started building uh, our online platform, which would allow teachers to teach learners remotely as well. 2019, April, May onwards, uh, me and one other person from my team, from the daily team itself, we started this small pilot of going international with the United States of America. And uh, all was through referrals. Ratko Tasbaje, Nobaje start karate them log and used to sit around four or five in the morning, used to make calls, referrals jo generate kar rahe din mein un pe raat pe act kar rahe So US then grew that way. So, okay. We had a we redeployed some people then for the US and started scaling that up. By March of 2020, we had around 500 students. Why are we even doing this? Why are we wasting time? Let's just focus on the business that gets money. Why do you, why, why do you want to do that? I was, I was so wrong. Okay, thank God I was wrong. Uh, COVID started in the first quarter of 2020 and somewhere in mid-March, a lockdown was announced and uh, yeah, I mean, everything was shut. We said, okay, it seems like, you know, the company could go out of business. It was an existential crisis uh, because 90% plus of our revenues were all offline learning and that was not going to happen for the foreseeable future. Admissions all stopped overnight, it fell off a cliff, revenue stopped entirely. I've never seen something like this in my life where, you know, you have this revenue coming in and it just goes to zero instantly. There was a lot of uncertainty. And it was very stressful. Uh, we were we were anxious and so on. But then um, I said, look, every crisis is an opportunity. Maybe this crisis is an opportunity for us in some way. We have this online platform that we've been working on. You know, there are some very good initial green shoots. Uh, kids are liking it and we, it's, it's not ready but it's not very half-baked also. So what if we were to take our entire business and transition it to the uh, to this online platform? So the online platform was ready. I think that was a blessing for QMath. But uh, to transition everything from offline to online was not an easy task. Online system was not meant to be a production-ready system. We were just side where we made a system so that we can experiment ki how can an online class would it can work um, but suddenly that system has to become our main system and and we had we had to run our company on that uh, at that point in time we had only 300 teachers who knew about the platform but tried the platform even once and probably like 500 students were, were taking classes on that 
but we had like this 30 40000 students we had to move completely online right at that point in time there was no time to think about whether you can do it or not you had to do it there was no other option right you are all awake raat ko call hoti hai 12:30 baje ki kahan hai kya status hai and then we are back to work fir subah 3 4 baje so rahe and then again morning 11 12 baje so yeah oh, i think all of us just jumped into the shit shama along with shubhi they ensured that the entire curriculum which was present in the form of workbooks were trans- transitioned into an into digital content right and ranjini ensured that all the teachers who were taking offline foundation classes were trained uh, to deliver online class everybody was doing 14 hours people were up to 2 am in the morning people were up early in the morning people were putting in the shifts uh, and it was just a phase where you know i think even like there was no burnout even like this happened for continuously for two to half weeks but it we just kept on going and we kind of delivered it everyone was together in this journey is what i feel i think showing up as a as a value in kumath i whatever i felt like whatever the bad situations we show up and we try to figure it out and we go around it and also one more thing i remember is that uh, in a meeting where uh, and meeting manan said okay because of pandemic we are not going to survive but we will thrive when we did the transition to the online platform we started getting demand from all over the world so suddenly our revenue not just came back but it actually started spiking it actually you know started rising exponentially and the post covid year was perhaps the fastest growth year for us as it was for many other education players but for us for me personally it's been a very interesting phase you know when we survived a near death crisis and then we just kind of took off in terms of growth teachers have played a pivotal role here without them you cannot think of qmath you know i think they should be in the epicenter of all the success that we have got the one thing that a lot of people underestimate in this uh, in, in education sector is the importance of a human being who becomes your accountability uh, person so we always knew going in that regardless of whatever ground breaking technological changes that may happen you will always need somebody to coach the child through difficult abstract concepts and that is a universal and a timeless need our superpower as a company is this dedicated committed passionate talented group of educators you know spread across the country टीचिंग इज समथिंग जो मैं कभी नहीं करना चाहती थी मैं लेक्चरर थी भारतीय विद्यापीठ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग में मैं वहाँ से पर्पसली छोड़ के आई थी क्योंकि मुझे टीचिंग नहीं करनी थी एंड आई नेवर न्यू कि क्यू मैथ में आके मेरा बिलीफ इस एक्सटेंट तक बदल जाएगा कि टीचिंग विल बिकम माई पैशन सींग दैट आउटकम इन स्टूडेंट्स विल बिकम माई पैशन सींग दैट जॉय ऑन पेरेंट्स फेस विल बिकम माई पैशन when i get the appreciation from them like nothing can match that my happiness oh my god that boosted my confidence 10 times 100 times what i will say slowly and gradually within the span of 2 years now yeah i am a confident and a different person i will say i met this teacher who was who got into an arranged marriage and uh, she was not she used to hide money from her husband because uh, she didn't have anything to, for herself Qmath made her financially stable. She was able to. She was teaching 20 odd kids. She was able to buy her own things. She was able to buy uh, things for her kids, and she was to, uh, able to get out of that marriage. Right. So apparently, a kid was going through some uh, bad times, and she had a very high fever. And uh, she was actually, sub- I mean, unconscious for some time. The first thing when she became conscious, she was asking about the brown belt. and that actually moved me a lot i didn't know that you know something that i made in some during some friday night somewhere sitting in kormangla actually impacted her better a girl you know so much you know the way they say uh, uh, i was a person who would never answer in a class now i raise my hand and i tell my teacher okay this is the answer so i think that speaks a lot about the child's confidence in math i am very good now I think starting and running a company is psychologically it's hard you know it it requires a certain kind of mindset you see so many ups and downs especially over a 10 year period 
um, there have been more than once we have come close to dying as a company and um, it's hard it takes a toll it 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 it, it, it it impacts your family life and personal life and so on because starting a company and running a company is almost like having a baby <laughs> and uh, you know managing that baby and seeing that baby grow up and so on um, it's also very rewarding you know when you do well when you see the kind of impact you're making on your customers uh, it's it's very rewarding as well but i do think it's very challenging and there are times when you feel like you should give up but i think if there's purity of purpose if there's purity of mission if you're clear about what you want to do and whether it lines with the purpose of your life what you've been sent for um i think you can ride through any kind of challenge and that's what's happened for me my mission today which is to help the world children become better thinkers it's exactly the same today as it was on day 1 and that gives me immense satisfaction that despite all that has happened my purpose is still the same and it gives me the strength to stick through ups and downs and i think the next 10 years will be no different um, there will be ups and downs but yeah we'll continue to grow as a company and we'll continue to make a dent in the world चंद्रा की दो बार स्कूटी डूबी नाले में अरे पुराने ऑफिस में हमारा पुराना ऑफिस नाले के करीब था एकदम एक्चुअली में हम दोनों की जवानी यहाँ पे निकल <laughs> देखा जाए तो पूरी की पूरी जवानी निकल चुकी है मतलब ये चौबीस साल का ही होगा जब ज्वाइन किया और अब तीस के हो चुके हैं हम लोग